Hello, and welcome to Nice Pork Pal. I am Jim, and behind the camera, as always, is Dawn. Say hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. And we are here at the Grand Floridian. We stopped over for dinner tonight. We're gonna have dinner at the Grand Floridian Cafe. Um, all right, the very first thing we noticed is we pulled in and they made us park across the street. Uh, there's just like a little sandwich board out there that says dining guests. It looks like it's in cast parking. It is so bizarre and weird. Uh, and then we had to like walk across the street. So we're, we gotta go find our way in first. Um, we're a little backwards here, but uh, we're hoping to have a, a good little dinner. We'll see what's going on inside. Come along. So we found the front door. Finally. have the dinner menu. It looks like they have all kinds of good appetizers. Shrimp, onion soup, apple salad, Caesar salad, crab cakes and pork belly. For entrees we got fried chicken, pork shank, a burger, gnocchi, farmer's market, pan-seared salmon, and New York strip. <laughs> Plenty of choices. Yep. So we got ourselves a table and uh, dinner should be starting soon, but uh, I just wanted to say, normally the Grand Floridian, not usually our jam. It's a little stuffy for us typically, but uh, we were looking for something in the Magic Kingdom area for dinner and uh, this fit the bill. They have a, a decent menu that we could all find something on. All right, the meal has started. Got myself a blue moon. Dawn's having water, very adventurous. And then there was some rolls with butter. The, the bread is warm. It's not bad. It's not that good either. <laughs> what is this again? Do you remember? Like pork belly tacos. Pork belly tacos, yes. Um, yeah, they're here. They're little. <laughs> very, very they're little. So little. They're so little. But they're the appetizers. We don't want to be too full. So. I'm telling you, man, people in Florida need to like learn how to make a taco sized taco. <clears throat> it's very delicious, actually. It's little, but it is delicious. Yeah. Okay, the entrees are here. I got the fried chicken. And I have to say it looks pretty tasty. And Dawn, Dawn got the strip steak. It looks good from the outside. It looks like we got some asparagus. Some and some sort of fancy waffle fries. Fancy waffle fries. Still gonna dunk them in ketchup, but they're fancy. to say it is quite delicious. There's a little little bit of like the sweet honey on top of the chicken. Yeah what is on top of the chicken? I don't know I'm gonna have to look back at the description because it's del it's delicious. It's it's crispy with like almost like th thick pieces of panko or something on it but it's really fried and and with a sweet glaze on it. I'm pretty sure it's honey or, a, or something. And it's on the bed of mashed potatoes, which are also perfect. Oh, it's a bacon vinaigrette. I should have known because bacon makes everything better. But yeah, I don't know if you can see that crispiness. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that is a 
perfect looking steak. It looks, it looks pretty good. So far, it tastes good. So far, that is amazing. So we're not getting dessert because we're gonna, we're gonna get a treat at the Magic Kingdom tonight, but they do have some desserts, vintage mini brownie, uh, seasoned fruit, seasonal fruit cobbler, cookies and cream chocolate layer cake, and a key lime bar. Mm. I'm sure they're all delicious. Just not having them tonight. So here's an inside look at the lobby where they're redoing stuff. I can't tell what they're doing. It just I don't looks, know. But those just, things look. Those things look new. Uh, yeah, the uh, railings surrounding the area. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like once it's all done. Okay. So, so dinner at the Grand Floridian Cafe was good. Um, the food was really good. My chicken was fantastic. Um, I really liked that a lot. The potatoes with it were perfect. Uh, the tacos were surprisingly good. Small, but very good. Uh, Dawn, your steak? My steak was very good. Probably was, not the best I've had in Disney World, but... I would agree. It'll it's, pass. It was, it was good steak. It wasn't like mm -hmm. right home steak. Um, I was kind of disappointed it's served with waffle fries. Kind of odd for that was this weird. kind of place. But, yeah. but they were okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so the food was unquestionably good. Uh, the price is a little high. It's Grand Floridian. Um, we're, we're still like super salty about that parking situation. Like, why were we so far away over in an employee parking lot uh, just to get in here? Um, not really sure, but uh, but the food was good. So, well, uh, I think we've spent enough time at the Grand Floridian. <laughs> we have, as we so. discussed, it's not really our jam. Uh, it's a little <laughs> stuffy. Um, so we're we're gonna we're gonna get our dessert elsewhere. Magic Kingdom, perhaps. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. All right, so dessert is here at the Magic Kingdom. It's Sleepy Hollow. And we're gonna get one of these Haunted Mansion peanut butter and jelly pops. Okay, yeah, here's the dessert. It is not big. Small dessert to go with fancy, fancy dinner, right? Small food. That's how it works. Um, this is the peanut butter and jelly pop. It is a haunted mansion themed treat apparently. It's like a push pop. So, just we eat it and push it up. Give it a try. Just push it up. Well, on top is like some crumbly. Like nutty a crumb pieces. cake? Yeah. Like nuts. You want to try some? Because it's all on top. I can't push the pop up without these all falling out. Ooh, they taste good. Yeah. Tastes like a... I don't know, what does that taste? I don't know, it's, it's nutty, but it's almost like cereal, but not quite crunchy as cereal. It kind of tastes like a Nutter Butter. They, they're probably crushed up Nutter Butters. They could be, yeah. It, it does. Awesome. Alright, but so we're, gonna be, we're, we're pushing up some more crummy, cakey stuff. Ooh. You can see the peanut butter and jelly coming into play. Is it good? It is good. It's a subtle flavor and it is very soft and cakey. Awesome. And it's new today. Yeah, brandy new. Alright. I'm gonna let you try it before I dig in any farther. Alright. Alright, so it's half gone, but here's a 
shot of like the layers of the tree. You can see it's kind of like a crumbly, nutty cake and kind of a jelly in between layer. Hello down there. We're calling it a night. We came over for our, our push pop dessert, which was hauntingly good. It was a peanut butter and jelly push pop. The bottom of the thing had like some peanut butter icing that was kind of holding it in place. Very good. It's small. Uh, that's the theme of the night, I guess, is small plates, big taste. Uh, that was that like was, five bucks though, right? Eh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't terrible, you know, based on Disney prices. But uh, yeah, we had just a quick run over here. It's super busy in there tonight. We did a ride or two while we, you know, walked off our our dinner to make room for the push pop. Push pop was delicious, uh, but we're tired. It's time to go home. But thanks for watching. Dawn, how'd I do? Very good. Nice work, out. Please stand by while we investigate the ingredients of our food.